Hey guys, welcome to the Cotton Channel and today we'll be talking about a very interesting topic. Why are some monks vegetarian and why are some monks not vegetarian? So one of the biggest influence on why monks are vegetarian, it all started from China. So back then, from the beginning, no monastery or temple are prohibited from eating meat. They can eat vegetables and they can also eat meat up until Emperor Wu and Emperor Wu actually stipulated that it is forbidden to eat meat for monks and uh, nuns. He actually made a very strict law to forbidden monks and nuns to eat meat at all, the entire country. Partially historians are saying that it could be because he wanted to have power over religion. He wanted to have more power in the country because religion could actually be one of the biggest power in a country. So by taking control over religion, he could get even more influence over the people. And so that is one of the biggest influence on why most of the monks are vegetarian today. This culture has been passed down for centuries and centuries. So according to Theravada Buddhism, Buddha actually did not forbid people from eating meat, did not forbid the monks and nuns from eating meat. He did not specifically say that, oh, you are not supposed to eat meat because you are a monk or a nun. However, he does have specific rules on what kind of meat is allowed to eat. So uh, in Chinese, we call it san jing rou. So that means that if they have not heard or seen or doubt that the meat was killed specifically for the monk to eat, then they are allowed to eat it. But if they have suspected that, oh, that meat is particularly specifically killed just for them to eat, they are not allowed to eat that. And then there's also forbidden meat uh, in Buddhism that are uh, not allowed to eat, even for normal humans. So for example, tiger meat, horse meat, human meat, snake meat, and so on. So these are the meat that are not allowed at any time, uh, even for normal humans. So I've actually came across this very interesting uh, talk from this nun. She said in Buddhism teaching, it is not stipulated not to eat meat. But there's also a stipulation that says that Buddhist uh, humans are supposed to have a heart of compassion, uh, to have compassion towards uh, animal, towards all beings, towards all humans. So she gave an example. This is a very good example that actually kind of changed my perception towards a lot of things. And I almost became a vegetarian because of that, but I couldn't because I just like to eat meat so much. Uh, she said, when an animal is slaughtered, when an animal is killed, uh, the animal will be in pain with a lot of suffering and will be very afraid. And it is actually very pitiful, like obviously when someone is killed or an animal is killed, it is actually very pitiful, they have to go through all those suffering. And since Buddhism actually taught compassion, right, killing is going against that, it's going to be very weird, like uh, how can you have a heart of compassion while you are actually killing something and to give suffering, giving pain to that, that, that animal or that insect, right? So that's why it is actually encourageable to reduce meat eating if you can uh, so that you can avoid not having, the com not having the heart of compassion. If you have heart of compassion, you would kind of pity the animal. So let's talk about the very practical reasons of why some monks are not uh, taking on a vegetarian diet. And it is actually very logical when I first hear about this a few months ago. So for example, if you are a monk in the North Pole or in very, very cold countries where vegetables are impossible to grow on, so how can you survive if there's no vegetable, there's no fruits, there's no uh, plant-based food for you to even consume? The only way to survive is to actually eat meat. So in certain countries, like even in Tibet, uh, where vegetables or plant-based food are very limited. The only way to survive is actually to take on meat. And it is very weird to say that, oh, all monks are supposed to take only vegetarian diet. And then if you don't take on the vegetarian diet, if uh, there's meat and then you're not allowed to eat them and then you're supposed to starve to death. And that is also not correct. 
But in Tibet, the Dalai Lama actually encourages the monks. He did not make it compulsory. He encourages the monks and nuns to actually uh, take on a plant-based diet if it is possible. So if all of these are available, uh, he encourages them to actually take a plant-based diet. And if there is none, then they can take meat-based diet. And of course, he did not make it compulsory. So this is a personal, uh, optional kind of thing. So if there are plant-based alternatives and the monk does not want to take plant-based diet, he wants to eat meat, uh, there's no problem with that as well. But he just encourages them. So yep, please do let me know in the comment section if you have other thoughts on this. Uh, if you're vegetarian, uh, whether you're vegetarian because of other reasons or it is because of Buddhism uh, kind of reason, please do let me know in the comment section. And if uh, practicing vegetarianism in Buddhism is different in your country, please do let me know in the comment section as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video again. Bye-bye.